Hello there, my little creepy crawlies. Welcome back to another episode of BNL Presents The Purge, the show where we get deep into my fridge and try to exercise the demons, which include but are not limited to hot sauces that have been taking up too much space or beers that have been hanging out for way too long. And as always, we have some Tel Dacos, tacos to help vessel this hot sauce into my gullet. We are simply clearing the bleh out of my fridge. Please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Beer and Loathing, like some videos, watch some of our other stuff. We got Sober to Sauce, we got Under Oath, we got Dudes with Nudes, we have the general tasting room. All sorts of stuff there for you to watch. That's food, beer, whatever related. And if you really like what uh, we have to do, share a video with your friends, do us a solid, get the word out, help us, help us go worldwide. Buy some merch, that'll help keep us in business long enough to keep making these kinds of videos for you. So that's enough about us. Nico, bring me my, bring me my three contenders. All right, first sauce I'm gonna go with is Dirty Dick's Hot Sauce. Now this is a hot pepper sauce with a tropical twist, according to the label here. Uh, and they claim to be the world's greatest hot sauce. Not a brag, just a fact. So this one has habaneros, mangoes, pineapple, vinegar, bananas, ooh, what? Tomatoes, brown sugar, raisins, onions, garlic, salt, and spices. There's a monster amount of stuff in here. All right, so for this Dirty Dicks, I'm expecting this to be not too bad, but you never know with habanero. Wow, this stuff is tropical as hell, and it's sweet. And it's got just the right amount of heat. This is very good. Mango and pineapple, like all the sweetness is all there. Okay. Oh. I've seen what that mouth can do. Yeah. Oh, okay. Definitely not mad at it. Woo, that is nice. So, for number two, let's do How Far Detroit. Bourbon Habanero Ghost, and they give this seven ghost face out of a possible 10. So this is apple cider vinegar, fire roasted habanero, very nice, water, bourbon, sea salt, lime juice, smoked ghost chili pepper, olive oil, and black pepper. Okay, so we got two different kinds of peppers. We got fire roasted habanero and smoked ghost chili. So this will have some heat on it. Okay, here we go. Oh. That's very smoky. Not good with taco smoky. Almost like that in you know, a Rauch beer, where it's borderline Band-Aid. All right, I'm gonna go super weenie hut on this. Oh, Lale. Yep. I'm gonna stick with the hot sauce and the beef. Okay, that flavor that I saw was almost Band-Aid-y. It's actually the vinegar. The vinegar cuts through very hard on this. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this on a taco. I think <laughs> this would be fine on Probably just about anything else. But uh, seasoned ground beef, lettuce, and cheese, it ain't it. I'm very confident I can get through all three of these. Victim number three is getting the Chipotle Express with an emphasis on the X. This is a hot sauce, hot sauce made directly from Pucker Butt Pepper Company, which is run by Smokin' Ed Curry, our godfather in heat. Oh, mother pus bucket. All right, so this is made with pepper X peppers, honey, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice from concentrate, distilled vinegar, kosher salt, chipotle powder, and ginger. They give this a heat index of four out of five, which for smoke and ed means this is probably <laughs> some nuclear level shit. <clears throat> oh, now I'm full of bubbles, great. <clears throat> okay, well, if you saw the last episode, which if you liked, subscribed, blah, 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 you would have saw me do some damage to myself with the brain burner hot sauce from Hot Ones. I'm gonna try not to do that to myself on this one. Oh, good Lord. It smells aggressive. It smells like pepper. It smells like super hot pepper sauce. So you don't get a lot of the other accoutrement to it. 
Maybe I am glad that uh, you didn't give me that one. Oh, okay. That's what anything else smoking that does. It's tasty. Still not my favorite, like compared to the Dirty Dicks. Dirty Dicks was surprisingly just really good on these things. Mm-hmm. Also, the flavor isn't uh, <laughs> super cutting through anything. It's actually kind of the taco is kind of masking the flavor, but the heat is absolutely there. It's not bad, but it's definitely there. It's not for the the casual spice enthusiast. You you should you should want <coughs> you should want pain. Sorry, Nico, it's happening again. Oh, crap. that's the real horror of it all. Is I can't even finish twelve tacos. Mm-hmm. I'm actually getting a little bit of the Chipotle on it now. It's, I think I might have either had a little bit more in that area, but the Chipotle is there. Nico and I both admitted that we are hugely, hugely open to Chipotle just ravaging our, our, our naughty bits. At first the Chipotle wasn't very obvious. Now it's starting to like pop through a little bit. Oh, and there we go. Three sauces, three tacos, I am spicy as hell right now. Yeah. And I'm more taco than man, I think. Oh God. The Dirty Dicks was, was the overall winner for this round. Hellfire Detroit was just kind of, eh. Like the vinegar cutting through and everything just wasn't, wasn't doing it for me. And this wasn't much better just because you couldn't taste anything, but it certainly was hot. Hot, 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 hot. Oh, it's in my throat. <coughs> 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 And with that, three more bottles of hot sauce are down for the count. Thanks for watching and joining us on this little journey. We'll have more of b Presents The Purge with some gross beers, some more sauces. We'll see what happens next. But if you really want to see what's going to happen, subscribe to our channel, Beer and Loathing. Like some videos, watch some videos, get a feel for what we do. If you like it enough, buy some merch. Give us, uh, give us some inspiration to keep putting this shit out. With that, I'm Samuel Sly. Yeah.